Sandy Monroe is back to talk about the newly unveiled Tesla robot and how this may just take the development of humanoid robots to the next level. And we're going to start right now. Welcome to E4 Electric. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss the next appearance by Sandy Munro on this channel, which usually happens at least once a month, plus our weekly electric car news. Even though what Tesla has unveiled is actually nothing more than a Halloween costume, for now, it did put humanoid robots on the map and will most likely draw more interest investment and development in the near future, including Tesla itself. Let's find out what Sandy thinks about this odd but awesome development. But before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by the Volkswagen ID4 EV, which I am now a proud owner of. I love the ID Light, a feature exclusive to Volkswagen. It can give you visual cues, letting you know when you need to make a turn without disturbing your conversation or pausing your music. See if you love the ID4 as much as I do by exploring the link in the description of this video. All right, Sandy, uh, today's topic is actually fun uh, because Elon Musk gave it to us uh, at the AI day. Um, they have unveiled a Tesla robot, which mainly was the costume. But at the same time, you know, if Elon says something that, uh, you know, there's a good chance he's actually going to follow through with it. But also it turns everyone's heads and everybody goes like, oh, we should pay attention to this. And there's a bunch of other companies get into the business. Now, you know, let's talk about the Tesla robot first. But I know there are many other companies that have been doing this for years. So first, let's talk about the Tesla robot. Uh, do you think first it is a good idea for Tesla to do it? And secondly, do you really think that they can put together a prototype within one year? OK, so <clears throat> currently there are a tremendous uh, number of um, robots out there that uh, that are trying to mimic um, either human uh, attributes or um, or maybe like something like a horse or what have there's a lot of different things that are that are hanging around and Tesla's not the first to come up with hey let's make a robot um, Asimoto at uh, for Honda has been around for a long long time and um, and that uh, that cutesy little robot you know hello buy a Honda and that's kind of like as far as it goes. But they're not first. I mean, if you want to see the first robots, you have to go back to Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, so Leonardo da Vinci, he invented a drummer robot. And it could play several different songs. And basically, it's been rebuilt several times. And it was a very clever wind-up toy. Okay, an animatron. Then... Um, he started working on something that was even more revolutionary, more exciting. He decided he was going to um, invent a soldier robot, a knight. And uh, he had it in armor, and it was strong enough to do stuff, and it could swing a sword, but it was a failure. It was a failure because the robot didn't have any brains. Okay, it could swing the sword a couple of times and then somebody had to go and wind it up again. It wasn't going to fight Europe's wars. It just couldn't happen. It didn't have the power supply, but mainly it didn't have the brains. So you fast forward a little bit and there's a guy named Jack Smith. Jack Smith, or sorry, Roger Smith. Roger Smith was going to automate all his factories. That was a disaster. It was a complete and utter disaster. There were so many robots pulled off the assembly line and stuck into the backyard <clears throat> that when, um, when people flew over the top of the, uh, the uh, Cadillac plant in Hamtramck, they thought it was a reflecting pond. And then Elon brought out his um, alien uh, uh, dreadnought line. Well, guess what? That didn't work out real well either. People have been trying to make robots for a long time. Um, I believe that, um, I could be wrong, but when I saw the, um, the interview or the release or what have you, and he showed the robot coming walking up, when I first saw it, I thought, that can't be real. And then when it started dancing, 
I was pretty sure that that was a lie. And then it kind of like strolled off and whatever. By the way, who was that uh, lady or person inside there, was it? We don't know, but I'm going with Grimes. Uh, I'm just uh, saying. Girl, yeah, yeah, girlfriend, yeah. wife, slash. Who mother. knows, who knows? Okay, Could be, all right. Yeah. Okay, so, and that's what, that's what humans can do, but robots cannot. A robot, I guarantee you, um, will not be able to uh, dance like that anytime real soon. It just, it just can't happen. And as far as uh, making it happen for a long time, you're looking at a power supply that we don't have yet. So last time we talked about solid state batteries, um, you would need something different than that. And if you want fast movement, like what that thing has and, um, or had, and like the dancing and whatnot, you'd probably be looking at doing something like chemical robots. That's what we use for <clears throat> defense kinds of projects where um, in, order, in order to get a jolt of electricity in a hurry, um, you mix two chemicals together and they do two things. One, they turn into something else, but secondly, they send off an awful lot of electrical energy and then you could have, you know, like uh, uh, tap dancing and things like that, but only for a short period of time. There's not enough room to do all this stuff, okay? And uh, the, the robot on, the, on um, Star Trek, you know, uh, data, Mm, I don't see that in the future right now, not, my, not in my foreseeable future. So I think that, um, I think that probably um, Tesla has as good a chance as any of making a robot that could uh, maybe be a cobot. So something on the assembly line that would work next to people and, um, and it wouldn't uh, you know, swing around and, and club you to death with one of its arms or something like that. But I've been working on robots or with robots for a long time. I, I, um, when I was 16, I was, um, I was working on a Unimate robot, which, uh, and so that was in 1960, um, <laughs> 1967. Wow. How many people <laughs> don't, weren't even born in 1967? And when the Unimate, yeah, I figured, I figured you'd do that. Anyways, <laughs> when the Unimate came out, um, people were saying, oh, the end of the assembly line worker is just around the corner. And uh, guess what? We still have assembly line workers because you know what? A robot is normally a blind one-armed idiot. Uh, one of these new cobots might have an eye, uh, he or she or whatever it may have two arms. Uh, but it's still an idiot. It can only do what you can program in, and we don't have enough AI to turn that into something that's as dramatic as a human being. So robotics are interesting, and I've been working on them, and we're working on them still right now. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that, uh, that robots will progress. However, a robot needs a lot of power. And, uh, and carrying power in today's world is uh, kind of expensive because it's heavy. Um, and uh, so if you, if you wanna have something that's gonna be, have full autonomy, it's gonna move relatively slow, it's gonna be very heavy, and it's gonna have to do tasks that won't um, deplete its energy supply in a, in a short period of time. But let now. me ask you about the, the, the robots that, I mean, essentially Elon suggested that these are the gonna be robots that will be helping us out around the house. So if right. the robot has a battery, but it's around the house, we can have three other batteries charging and it can be, you know, the robot itself can swap the battery real quick and continue going 24 seven. Is that a, 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 a feasible solution? And how big these batteries really need to be? Well. So let's think about um, iRobot, right? So um, I don't have one of those. I had one for a while, uh, but um, it lost its mind and decided to go down a staircase. And by the time it got to the basement floor where the concrete was, 
It wasn't happy anymore. It you're wasn't not, gone. You're not talking about it, Will Smith movie. You're talking about the little vacuum cleaner, right? The vacuum okay. cleaner, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, no, there's no such thing as Will Smith movie. Anyway, so <laughs> it smashed all over the place, right? But but there's a robot that could do the job. It would, um, it would clean my floor. Now, um, okay, so it could, I, that's a robot and it, it's already doing a fine job. Why do I need something that looks like a human being that swaps batteries when this thing, when it gets low on a charge, it just goes over and sits on top of an um, induction, um, induction charging system and boop, it's back in business in no time. I don't need one of those. I don't need a human to, looking like an animatron or a humanoid to do that. So that's what the other one was, um, like washing dishes or, or dusting. Uh, I don't care about dust and I have a dishwasher. So really and truly, I don't see enough here to get, get me all enthusiastic and excited. If, if someone could de devise something that could be humanoid enough that it could take the place of um, a nurse uh, where somebody, you know, needs... Um, needs to be taken out of a bed and sat into a wheelchair or something like that. Okay, if I could figure out how to do that, that'll have to have some serious tactile sensing. It would have to be able to uh, understand grunts and groans, not just words, because people that are in that kind of a situation, usually if, they, if they're picked up and they're in a great deal of pain, they don't, they'll scream, but they won't, they won't say, hey, don't do that. Um, you're, your elbow is, uh, is now in my chest or something. They're, they're just going to make noises. So tactile sensing is going to be really important. Um, I don't see this as something that's going to be around the corner. I put it in the same category as when we were talking about Tesla's battery packs, the solid state battery packs. I said they're somewhere between five and 10 years away. Well, uh, the robot that is going to take uh, your place is going to have to be a lot further down the road. AI is a wonderful thing, and cognitive knowledge or the ability to have a robot with cognitive knowledge is a wonderful thing, but it's not something we're going to see here anytime soon. Don't forget to subscribe to Sandy's channel. I put the link to it in the description of this video, and don't forget to join me for my subscriber hangout live on this channel. Check for the times and dates on the homepage of this channel. And don't forget to set a reminder. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.